Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. I am resurrecting an old series of mine that I did years ago, which is basically like a beauty battle. I think I'm gonna call this buy this not that type of thing. I'm not, I haven't worked out all the details yet, but either beauty battle, buy this not that, but basically it is where I take two products that are really similar to one another and I discuss pros and cons and which one I think would be the winner. Like if you only wanna buy one of these products, this is the one that I am going to recommend to you. So uh, it's not a dupes video. I'm not comparing like high end to drugstore. Uh, I'm trying to get all of these products be really similar to each other. Today's video, I have a cream blush against cream blush, a liquid bronzer against liquid bronzer, lip gloss against lip gloss, and all within the same price range area if that makes sense so we just got a little beauty battle i hope that you enjoy this series because i'm excited to bring it back let's go ahead and get started all right so this series i did several years i want to say like three or four years ago i did a few of these different beauty battle ideas but i just thought it'd be fun because sometimes i get the questions of okay i know that you like both of these powders but if you had to had to pick one which one are you going to pick so that's why i thought i could bring back this series and you know just have a little fun with makeup i also wanted all of these products that i'm talking about to be products that i like so it's not that i'm putting up two products and one i'm like i just don't recommend this i don't like it both of the products in these categories I like, I enjoy, I use, I recommend, but if I could only pick one, because that seems to be a big thing on YouTube, you know, you see all those, like, if I can only pick one in this category, if I can only pick one palette from a brand type of thing, we are only going to be picking one. So before we jump into it, let me do a little OOTD for you. I actually just got done filming the Will I Buy It for the week where I was wearing a dress, but I'm about to get a pedicure, so I thought I'd put shorts on. So I just got some black shorts on and a casual tank with like a one of those like bralettes underneath so it doesn't like look goofy if you can see it but as soon as this video is done I'm getting a pedicure with one of my friends before she heads off out of town for a few days so we're just gonna have a little little time together so i'm excited for that so i thought shorts would be better than a dress let's hop into it and i'm gonna start off with some lip glosses I like both of these lip glosses. Like I said, I like, I'm like. i gonna like each product that I'm talking about. I recommend each product that I'm talking about. There can only be one winner. So we have the Lawless Beauty Forget the Filler Lip Gloss, Plumping Lip Gloss, and the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. Now I did recently purchase the one from Huda Beauty. I've only had it in my collection for Oh, like two weeks or so. I, I think it's been. I have had the Lawless for quite some time. Clearly, I really like the Lawless. I use this all the time. I actually had to go and pull it out of my purse because it was still, I was hunting down everywhere. I was like, where is this lip gloss? It's in my purse because I take it with me all of the time. But the Huda Beauty, I have really been enjoying this one also. I did review this recently in, I think it was my makeup monthly. The Huda Beauty retails for $21. The Lawless Beauty is $25. You can find both of these at Sephora. I'm a gloss girl. I prefer a very smooth gloss, very comfortable gloss, nothing that's sticky, nothing that's too goopy, nothing that's too thick. I like something that's gonna be a little bit more on the sheer side and just give you those like type of lips. I don't like a gloss that is too, too pigmented. Uh, I, I do like a gloss with some shimmer in it, which neither of these do. These are not shimmery glosses at all. So if you prefer a shimmery gloss, these are not gonna be the ones for you. They are just very glossy, shiny looking. Now the Lawless Beauty does give you a plumping effect without any sort of feeling. You know, most plumping glosses, you can feel the tingles, you can, you can feel the effect you still get those fuller lips, but with zero, I was gonna say side effects, but like with zero tingling or anything like that. The Huda Beauty doesn't necessarily give you those plumper lips, but it kind of can, the glossiness can kind of help give you that illusion still, but with the Lawless, there's like an actual difference in these two products. Which one do I prefer? If I could only choose one, if you were saying, Samantha, like this is it, you can only put one back into your purse. It's gonna be the Lawless. It's going to be the Lawless because this is a gloss when I wear it, I just like can't stop looking at my lips. I'm like, did you get filler, girl? And I'm like trying to remember like, what does my schedule look like? Did I somehow get lip fillers and I just forgot? Like I didn't vlog it? What am I thinking? You know, that's what the gloss makes me think of and that's the kind of look that I like. The Huda Beauty, still beautiful. It's a few dollars cheaper. It's still gonna give you that nice glossy look. It's still really comfortable. Looks really good on the lips. But for me, my winner is Lawless. 
I do have quite a few complexion products in here because that has been my recent obsession. So let's start off with some cream bronzers. So in the ring this time, we have from Milk Makeup, their Baked Bronzer Stick. The shade is called Baked, their bronzer stick. And from Persona Beauty, we have their bronze multi-stick in the shade Dune. So the Persona, let me tell you, retails for $26. The Milk retails for $18. I was almost a little bit surprised. For some reason, I was just thinking the Milk would be more expensive than the Persona. Uh, the Milk, you do get um, one ounce and then the Persona 0.32 ounces. So you do get quite a bit more in the Milk makeup. I've had the Milk Maple for a long time. This is definitely like an OG product here on YouTube. The Persona is a pretty new release. Like I've said, I like I like all of these products that I am going to be talking about. This was one that was pretty darn close to me. When I got the idea to do this and then I thought about putting the two bronzer sticks together, I really went back and forth and I was like, I'm just not sure. And then I kept wearing the Milk and then I'd wear the Persona, then I would wear the Milk, then I would wear the Persona and I'm like, I just, it's such a close call. I really don't think that you can go wrong with either of these, but the point of this video is to not have this end up in a tie. So for my winner for this one, I'm actually gonna give it to the Milk Makeup. I find it, if I'm just like really trying to like hone in on something, I find it just a little bit easier to blend. Persona, it's still really easy to blend. The Milk Makeup just is, it was one of those first cream products that I started trying that I was like, wait, maybe I can do this because I just wasn't into cream for such a long time and it intimidated me and I thought it would like move around and like pick up my foundation. Some products definitely do that, but the milk makeup doesn't and it's what kind of started to get me slowly to like not be as afraid of cream products was this one from milk so i just i think it's really easy to blend also there is that price difference and you do get quite a bit more product so those were just a couple of things that helped to tip the milk makeup into the winner circle then let's move over to some liquid bronzers so in this round we have from charlotte tilbury the hollywood contour wand and from iconic london their sheer liquid bronzer once again charlotte tilbury i've had this for a very long time and then the iconic london this is a pretty newer to me product again and I've had it around the two week time I bought this the same time as the Huda Beauty. The Charlotte Tilbury retails for $38. The Iconic London retails for $25. The Charlotte Tilbury, you get 0.41 fluid ounces. And the uh, Iconic London, you get 0.42. The Iconic London has just like the tiniest kiss more of product. One thing I want to say about the Charlotte Tilbury is I don't know what's going on, but a bunch of the contour wands and also uh, blush wands are no longer available on Sephora. And I, what's happening? What's happening here? And I think that they're out of stock on the Charlotte Tilbury website. I saw that too. Don't know what's going on there. Not very happy about it. So just wanted to throw that out there. For these, once again, going back to the Charlotte Tilbury, this one has this like floof ball applicator that I call it. You have to twist it and then get some product out. It is so easy to use this product. This was, I think, probably my first liquid bronzer and I or contour, and I was completely freaked out by it. And I didn't want to use it. And I thought, I am just going to screw everything up. It is so easy to use. The Charlotte Tilbury wands, I've been recommending them for years now. The highlight wand, the blush wand, the contour wand, they're all just so, they have that effortless feeling to them and I love that. Now the Iconic London, I also think that this one is very easy to use. This one comes in like this squeeze tube here. I like the Iconic London a lot because it has this really beautiful glow to it. There's no like like shimmer to it, but it just gives this really nice natural glow. It's very easy to blend out. I've gone overboard with this product so many times and it's so, so easy to blend out. Again, very like effortless kind of foolproof type of liquid bronzer. And that's what I want in both. So again, I'm recommending both of these. I really do think that they're both great. If you want something that's gonna be a little bit more matte, I would say Charlotte Tilbury. If you want something that's gonna give you a bit more of a glow, I would say the Iconic London. I actually prefer the floof ball. I call it the floof ball. I'm, I'm, that's not like proper terminology, but I actually prefer the floof ball for whatever reason. It might not be like the best, like if you don't remember to close it, you could get a little bit messy if you push too much up. It could get messy, but I, I like it that, 
how do I say this? But I, I find it almost easier to apply it this way than just like squeezing out a bunch like the Iconic London. So there are you know, pros and cons to the actual uh, components, but I, I kind of lean towards the Charlotte Tilbury for that. There is a price difference, the 38 to the 25 for basically the same amount of product. But if I had to choose a winner between these two, it's the Charlotte. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. They're both great. You really can't go wrong. But if I had to, had to, had to recommend one, it's the Charlotte Tilbury. And it's why I'm so devastated that by the time I'm finally sitting down to film this video, like where are the contour ones? <laughs> like I'm freaking out because I really, I need to purchase another one of these. I'm about out of this one. I'm about out of the highlight. I need to get those back in my life and I'm trying not to freak out. I guess you guys know I'm friends with Charlotte. What am I thinking? <laughs> I could just call her and ask her. God, I'm so silly. I'm gonna call Charlotte. I'm gonna call Charlotte and see what's going on with her wands because they're fantastic and the contour wand is in the winner's circle. Let's move over to blushes. I have liquid and cream, so we're gonna start off with the liquids. In this round, we have from Ilia Beauty the Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment and from Danessa Myricks the Color Fix Glaze. It's a long wear um, glaze for eyes, lips, and cheeks. So both of these liquid products here. Now the Ilia Beauty I actually have had for a long time time once again this is one of the first liquid blushes that I was like this doesn't suck maybe I can do something with this it has um, almost kind of like an eye cream type of of component on this one and this is going to leave you with a matte finish it's a little bit thicker um, and it just gives like a nice matte flush to the cheeks or again you can wear it on eyes or lips I usually wear it as a blush the Danessa Myricks Glaze, um, I've had this for a couple months now. I purchased this one at Sephora when Danessa Myricks came in, so you have like the little squeeze tube here. Uh, and this one is going to leave you with a little bit more on that shimmery side. It's not like, a little more on the glowy side, not so much shimmery, just a little bit more of, of a glow to the cheeks. Um, pricing difference on these, the Ilia Beauty is $32, the Danessa Myricks is 18. So once again, quite quite a bit of a, I, I, I still wanted, you know, I wasn't trying to do dupes or like high-end versus drugstore. And these are both, you know, high-end. They're available at Sephora. The Danessa Myricks has 0.34 fluid ounces and the Ilia has 0.23 fluid ounces. So you're getting a lot more product, quite a bit more product um, for way less money with the Danessa Myricks. Again, I like both of these because I find them both really easy to use. The Ilia, I would say, I actually find it a little bit easier to blend. What I do is I put this onto my hand and then I pick it up with my sponge and blend it out. It's super easy, it's super quick. Again, one of those first liquid blushes that I was like, hey, I think I can use this type of product. And then with the Danessa Myricks, I pretty much use it in the same way. Sometimes if I'm like filming for Instagram, I'm like, oh, look at me putting this directly on my cheek but that's for Instagram and normally I will put it on my hand and pick it up. The Danessa, I have gone overboard a few times. I've, you know, taken out too much product and I've put a little bit too much on my cheek and it's taken me a little bit longer to blend out because it's a little bit thicker. Um, it has like almost more, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like, it can just be a little bit thicker of a product so it's not quite as easy to blend out, but I like that it has a little bit more of that sheen to it, a little bit more of that glowy finish versus the Ilia which is more matte. Now talk to me a few years ago when I first got the Ilia and I was leaning more towards matte, but now I kind of like that more glowy look. So once again, pros and cons to each one. And this was one, I, again, I really stared at these and I was like, I just don't know. I think they're both really good. But if I had to choose a winner, I'm actually, I'm gonna say the Danessa Myricks. Mostly because I like that little bit of glow and it's what I keep gravitating towards right now. Like recently I've been reaching for the Danessa over the Ilia. Again, you get more product for that lower price tag too. So I just think it's gonna be a better value. But if you are someone that prefers more of that matte look, I would say go with the Ilia, but had to choose a winner. Vanessa Myricks. All right, and then we have our cream blushes. So in this round, we have from Rare Beauty, one of their cream blushes, uh, melting blushes in nearly neutral is the shade that I have. And then from Fenty Beauty, one of their cream blushes in Fenty Glow. So both cream blushes, um, not super, not super similar. What? Not super similar with the shades. The Fenty is more of a nude and the Rare Beauty is more of that like neutral rose type of color. I like the packaging on both of these. Um, I think 
I think that the, the packaging is cute. I like that you have the little mirrors in here. For pricing, the Rare Beauty is $21, the Fenty is $20, so really close with prices. The Rare Beauty is 0.17 ounces and the Fenty is 0.10 ounces. So once again, fairly close. Rare Beauty is going to give you a little bit more. Fenty Beauty is going to give a little bit, just a little bit more of a sheen. Maybe you can kind of see in the pan. I'm probably going to be, um, you know, putting in some swatches here. But the nearly neutral gives you like this flush of like you've just been outside in the sun and it's very, very natural. It's one of those blushes that, I mean, it looks like you're wearing blush, but it looks very, very natural. And I really like that. It's super easy to blend out. I use both of these with a damp sponge actually. And I just tap it on, tap it in and then tap it onto my cheeks. And I think that looks really good. I think the wear time on both of these is pretty decent, but if I had to choose a winner between the Fenty and the Rare, I'm actually going with the Rare Beauty. Which is a little bit surprising. I actually feel like both of these brands are pretty hit or miss for me. There's products from Fenty that I absolutely love and absolutely hate. Rare Beauty, exact same thing. There's not a lot of products that are like in between for me, but it's something about how natural and just like flushed and beautiful I feel like this blush makes me look. Um, I did a video recently ranking all of my um, cream and liquid complexion products, so I can link that one in the cards if you'd want to see a little bit more in depth on each of these, but for this round, I have to give it to the Rare Beauty. And then we have one more category because this one, I get a comment almost daily somewhere. YouTube, Instagram, DMs, I've had people email me about this and people say, Samantha, I want to buy one of your favorite powders, but which one, I can only buy one, which one should I buy? Should it be the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder, or should it be the Dior Powder No Powder? Once again, we have an OG right here with Charlotte Tilbury. I've been using this for years. This is my second compact. The Dior Powder No Powder is a new release from Dior. Um, Charlotte, you know, my girlfriend sent me this one. I did purchase the Dior myself. Charlotte retails for $45. The Dior retails for $40. The Charlotte, you do get 0.28 ounces. And the Dior, let me tell you, you get 0.38 ounces. So you do get more in the Dior for $5 cheaper. I use the shade 2 medium in the Charlotte 3N in the Dior. I do want to say that as of right now with the shades that I have, I use these powders for different things. The Charlotte Tilbury I use to set on my under eyes. It's the powder that I have on right now. The Dior I use to set my face and also my body. It is what I have on right now. This one has, um, this one is more of a tan shade that I feel like matches the rest of my body whereas the Charlotte is you know your translucent powder I love both of these very deeply and this is by far the rudest question you could ask me no I'm just kidding I'm just kidding but it is like when people tell me I'm like ah see I like them the hard part is is like I, I like them for different things but I actually I love the Dior so much I do want to get it in a shade more like what I have in the Charlotte so I can use it to set my under eyes but right now this combo love it can't go wrong it's the two powders that I reach for pretty much every single day the Charlotte Tilbury is so lightweight it is so fine it's when you put it on your under eyes it's like you didn't put anything on except somehow now your under eyes look blurred they look a little bit brighter your creases are gone and it's just like yeah okay i'm feeling good about myself and then you come in with the dior and you put this all over your face over your foundation your skin tint your tinted moisturizer your concealer whatever it may be and then all of a sudden your entire face is blurred out and you just look like a beautiful doll and then everyone compliments you on your skin and it's like it's not actually my skin it's just the dior powder and it's so lightweight it says powder no powder because it's supposed to feel like you have nothing on and it's so so true i i love i love both of these the charlotte tilbury i did hit pan in pretty quickly the dior i already have like this massive dip in here and i will i mean i would continue to repurchase both i would need both in my collection if I could only choose one, <laughs> if you were like Samantha, you have to leave your house right now and you are only picking one powder, which one would it be? It's the Dior. It's the Dior. I feel like I'm cheating on Charlotte and I've loved this powder for such a long time, but let me explain. 
And one thing that I want to say is I know that this is only $5 more, so they're pretty close in price, even though you do get more product with the Dior. The Charlotte Tilbury is definitely such a fine powder, as I think that's why I hit pan in it so fast, and then you go through it more quickly. The Dior, I have been going ham on this powder, okay? I put it all over my face, I put it on my chest, my entire neck, my shoulder blades, out here, I put it on my back, I put this powder freaking everywhere and yes I have a really large dip in it and you can see like the like the imprint and everything is coming off but because I haven't hit pan on it I'm like okay I think this is gonna last me for a little bit longer than the Charlotte Tilbury and I've heard a lot of people say they go through the Charlotte so quickly because of you know just how finely milled it is so if you have to keep repurchasing a high-end powder it's gonna get really pricey to keep repurchasing the Charlotte caveat i've had the charlotte for longer than i have the dior so maybe i'll go through it just as fast but with charlotte i'm definitely using this for my under eyes and i would you know still lightly like set my face and everything but with the dior like i said i am putting it everywhere i want to be blurred and smooth all over my body so that's one of the biggest reasons that i am choosing the dior like i said i am going to grab a lighter shade so i can use it on my under eyes too and then i just think it's just going to be beautiful but the Charlotte is still such a gorgeous powder. It's so easy to work with. It's so smoothing and pretty and flawless. But the Dior is just, I I don't know if I've had a makeup product that I'm like so wildly obsessed with in a while. And I get tags every day of people like, I bought the Dior powder because of Samantha March. And I'm like, yes. And then in the, my private Facebook group, someone put a picture of their Sephora bag with the Dior powder in front of it and was like, I don't know who made me buy this. And I responded, I was like, I don't know either. Who made you buy that like i love this powder and i keep recommending it and i keep shouting out from the roof that i love it so much so if i only had to pick one the dior is knocking out the og charlotte tilbury that was really hard for me to do that was really hard for me to do i hope that you enjoyed the effort that i gave to this video to get through how hard this was but i hope you enjoyed me bringing back my beauty battle buy this not that i'm not really sure exactly what i'm calling this yet so if you have any great ideas definitely let me know but i would also really like to know what products would you like to see me battle out next it could either be new products and i could test them out together or it could be products in my collection again that are similar to one another similar in price range and all of that if you'd want to see a drugstore version of this because i know i had all high end in this video too let me know i just think it's fun to do this style of video and it was fun for me to challenge myself to only pick one winner but definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video bye